Hope you all guys had a great Christmas and holiday season. Tis the season for giving, and that will continue here today on this video. Special twist on today's video, we are gonna open this mystery package sent to me by somebody else. And at the end, I'm gonna tell you how you can win all the contents inside. If you didn't get all the fish and stuff you wanted for Christmas and under the tree and in your stocking, then this just might be the answer to what you have been wishing for. As I've mentioned before, November and December have been all about giving back to all of you, the listeners, the viewers, subscribers, and today that is gonna to continue. To keep this theme going, I reached out to Deepos Fishing to help out with this special video and this special project. Basically, we decided we're each gonna spend $50 on a package and we're gonna send it to the other one and not tell them what was inside or any kind of parameters other than just to be opened up, be a surprise, and then somebody on their channel was gonna win the contents inside. So I have no idea what's in this package from Debo's Fishing, but I'm excited to jump in and find out what he sent us. Sounds interesting. Likewise, Debo has no idea what I put in my order from Omnia Fishing to him. Basically, Debo's viewers are gonna win a hand-packed tackle box from me, and one of you is gonna win a hand-packed tackle from Debo Fishing himself. Stick around to the end to make sure you don't miss out on how to get your chance to win this tackle pack. And here's a quick snippet on what Debo sent us before we dig in and open it. What's up, Rich, and all of your fish and friends? Happy Christmas, Merry New Year, everything in between. Uh, we did a little switch. He sent me a box from Omnia. I sent him a box from Tackle or House. Uh, a swap, we don't know what's in here. This is a complete surprise. As you can see, the, uh, the tape is all sealed. You're gonna see here what's in it. And uh, after we do the unboxing, we're doing a giveaway. It's the season for giving away. So hope you all are having a good holiday season. Uh, have a good new year if I don't talk to any of you. Enough yapping, let's get into this box. Time to dig in and find out what's inside. Now I have no idea what's in here, but I will make sure to put links in the description below to everything that's opened in here. So if you find something that you think you kind of like or you'd want, it'll all be linked down below and easy to find. Grabbing our trusty Arsenal scissors. Let's dig in. Try not to peek. Here's some rattles, some hard baits, maybe some soft stuff. Let's take a look. First thing in the box is a KVD 1.5. This is a clear, sexy shad 1.5. Classic bait here. This bait works just about anywhere. It's probably a little bit more geared to clear water. KBD 1.5 is a classic square bill and a fish catcher. This is a great bait no matter where you live, whether you fish from a pond, a boat, a kayak, this bait is an awesome bait and stood the test of time. Great first pick by Debo. If this is a sign of things to come, I think there's gonna be a lot of great stuff in this package. All right, got something here from Lake Fork. Lake Fork Ring Fry. Now this is a bait that I love. This bait I actually used a ton. I have gotten away from it a little bit, but I grew up catching tons of bass on this Lake Fork Ring Fry. Now this is a Green Pumpkin Magic Swirl, which is a great color of a bait. It's a great bluegill imitator. If you're in an area where your fish are feeding on a lot of bluegills or crawdad, this is a great bait and a great color. A great substitute to a Senko in my mind. I fish this a lot of different ways. I fish it weightless, skip it around docks and trees, through pads, vegetation. I'll also Texas rig it and sneaky Fish not a Carolina rig. It's a deadly, deadly, deadly Carolina rig bait. Great second pick for Debo. I love these. This is something I don't ever like launch the boat without a few packs of ring fries in my boat. Lake Fork, known for their amazing garlic smell. Ooh, yeah, still hits as hard as ever. These things are stinky, but the fish, and especially smallmouth and largemouth, seem to love that garlic smell. Number three here. We have some Tokyo Rig Finesse Nico hooks. Now I haven't tried these, but I imagine these will be pretty sweet. This is a bait that I've, I've used the other Tokyo rigs, but not this finesse style. I think this could be really good alternative to power shotting. This could be a heavy drop shot bait. You could fish Nico worms on this, a lot of other baits. Who knows, maybe Debo snuck something in here that we should probably put on this. So let's keep this in mind as we open a few things. Uh, maybe he's got some baits in there that would be good. I think the hook would be a little small for the ring fry so far. These are also sneaky good in place of a biffle head or something like that. This wire, you put a little weight on there, you cast it out and you drag it. Maybe he's got some finesse swim baits like some Kitex or some skinny dippers. Those could be really good pairing with this. Let's see, we'll circle back, find out what we could pair with this Tokyo Rig Finesse Nico in this pack. All right, Arsenal Tactical Minnows, my guy. You know I'm a fan of Arsenal. We've got here the four and a half inch Tactical Minnows in Dirty Oil, which is a nice green pumpkin deep, great bluegill imitator. 
you guys know this is one of my favorite baits on the back of a chatterbait or a bladed jig. Also great on the back of swim jigs, spinner baits. You can Texas rig these. You can swim like a skinny dipper or any kind of paddle tail. They have a real nice subtle kick to them. Great choice. A lot of ways to fish this. There's probably more ways to fish it. I've only started using them. Maybe a Carolina rig, maybe a drop shot, maybe on the back of a pivot head. Who knows? Great bait. Arsenal Mills contains salt and kind of a fishy, kind of shrimpy scent. It's kind of a nice smell, different than the garlic, but they definitely are packed with scent, which definitely doesn't hurt. All right, look at these. We got some Missile Baits D-Bombs in Bruiser. Now, Bruiser is a bright blue color with kind of a core shot. It's kind of a, a unique black and blue color. I love D-Bombs. I love throwing them on the back of my grass jigs. I love flipping them. Texas rigs, punch rigs. There's really no bad way to fish a D-Bomb. Carolina rigs, you can see right in the pack, the Missile Baits kind of have an oily scent in the package. Yeah, it's got that good, good missile bait goodness. I'm not sure what their scent is, but it smells good to me, and the fish don't seem to mind it. Another great bait. Just some classic staple baits that are going to get bitched just about anywhere. Great picks by Devo. All right, here we go. We got a Tackle Warehouse Lure Wrap. And if you watch any of my videos, you've noticed I use these wraps on my crankbaits a lot. Now, if some of the ones I got are homemade, uh, but I've got some that are bought. But these are great. You know, it, and actually my gift giving video that came out too bad. These are one of the things I called out as an amazing gift item. These things keep organization, whether it's in your truck, in your kayak, in your car, in your boat, keeps lures clean. You wrap these around your top waters, your crankbaits, and any kind of bait that has any kind of hooks exposed. And they keep them out of your other rods, keeping them tangled in your line, keep them out of your seats, keep them out of your leg, your feet. It's important to cover these up. These things, if you like keep one hook out of yourself or a seat, these things pay for themselves instantly. Boom, cross eyes chatterbait. So this chatterbait came out early last year. It's a take on the original Z-Man chatterbait, but it's got these little flexible wire weed guards, which are great for deflecting off stumps, weeds, grass, docks, twigs. It's got all the main features you want in a good chatterbait at a fraction of the price of the chatterbait. These are great baits. I fished them myself. I've caught a few fish on them. I've seen Debo do really well in these. He fishes them from shore, and he complained, being complained about other chatterbaits and jackhammers is they get hung up too easy, and you lose them fishing from shore. This will reduce that greatly. The Z-Man cross-size is a great budget-friendly chatterbait that still catches a lot of bass. This one here is in Waterbug, which is one of my favorite colors that the cross-size comes in. It's kind of a green pumpkin, magic craw, kind of a swirl color. Great bluegill, great crawfish imitator. The Z-Man and the Arsenal Tactical Metal would pair amazing together. Let's dig in. What else? We've got a bunch of stuff here. All right. This is a bait that I haven't tried. I've seen it on Debo's channel. I'm excited. I've had it in my cart and on my wish list. But this is the new mini D-chunk from Missile Baits. It's got a great small profile. It'll be great on the back of any jig, on the back of a swim jig, on the back of a chatterbait. Very versatile chunk. Amazing looking bait. Can't wait to buy some of these myself. I'm kind of jealous that one of you is getting these before I'm getting my hands on them. This is on Bruiser Flash, which is a nice little blue kind of sapphire color. Let's see if the mini D-chunks smell like the D-bombs and the other Missile Baits blackers. Yep, definitely got that same kick as most Missile Baits. So if you like that scent, D-chunks are just the same. I look forward to testing these against my Speed Cross and Menace Scrubs that I normally fish on the back of my jigs all the time. Next up, we got some G-Finesse Wacky Jigs, Wacky Heads. These are little jig heads with wacky hooks and little weed guards on them for fishing stick baits, senkos, and things like that around cover. Great option, whether you're in the boat or fishing from shore. As a co-angler, it's a way to fish a wacky rig behind somebody a little faster with a little more weight with a little less chance of getting hung up and losing your wacky rig out of the back of the boat. It's a great little tool to be able to fish a wacky rig a little faster, but still get a ton of bites. All right, up next, we have a Tackle HD Stealth Finesse Jig. This is a two-pack, 516 ounce black and blue. So you get two jigs in here. Little finesse style Ozark kind of jewel ball jig here. Little thin skirt, tiny little weed guards, recessed hook eye. This bait is great around cover, rocks, hard bottoms, 
tip this with a little mini D-chuck, I think you've got a real winner. Uh, and I'm guessing that's what Debo intended is for us to tear, pair this up with this and have a great little finesse jig offering. It's got a little molded barb wire keeper on there. I don't throw a lot of finesse jigs, but it's something I probably should throw a little more of. And these seem like great little offerings. Another bladed jig. This is the Chatterbait Custom and Bee Height Delight and 3 8 ounce. Now this is, you've heard me talk about it before, one of my favorite non-jackhammer chatterbaits. I've caught a ton of fish on this. This little guy here has almost all the features you want from a bladed jig. It's, it's got a wire keeper. It just flat catches them. This is a great bait. And if you can't swing jackhammers, this is a budget-friendly, super Fish catching bladed jig shouldn't be overlooked. The Z-Man Custom. What did you think of this box? I thought Debo put together some great stuff that will help us all catch more big bass and suck less. So make sure you head on over to check out Debo's video. I'll have the link down in the description below if you can't find it. After you watch Debo's video, come back, leave a comment below. Which one of the boxes did you like best and which bait overall of everything you saw was your favorite that you saw? If you like what you saw here, I'm gonna give away all the tackle we looked at today on my stream on Wednesday night, 8 p.m., December 29th, coming up just around the corner. We'll give away this and a whole bunch of other stuff that night. Just show up, join in the conversation, and we'll give it away live on stream. If you don't wanna miss your chance, or you forget you might forget, consider hitting the like button down below. Click on the subscribe button, then click the bell. Make sure your notifications are turned on so you don't miss the stream. If you want to double up on your chances to win some great free tackle, make sure you head over and watch Debo's video right here.